Time now for Traveling with Francoise. Francoise Rhodes joins us to talk about Salvation Mountain and Slab City. Two very cool places. Very cool places. Unofficial tourist attraction. We have yeah. tourists from all over the world that want to go to Salvation Mountain, which is in this little town called Nyland in the East Valley. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think it's right there on the main road, but it's not. You actually have to turn off of the main road, yeah. onto a <laughs> road called Main Road, yeah. and there it is. And it was founded a long time ago by Leonard Knight. He started this, all the paint, everything he used is all donated. What's really fascinating about this is it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Mm -hmm. And Leonard Knight is no longer with us, and they have formed a 501c3 yep. to fund this. But again, when you go out there, it really is a masterpiece. You've seen it. It's. I've been there multiple times. We've actually done a couple stories where um, it was obviously falling into disrepair after mm -hmm. Leonard passed away. Right. And, and as you said, they're forming a 501c3. It's already formed. Already yep. formed to make it as beautiful as mm -hmm. it is and, and keep it up um, and it's it's really cool it, it's it's just fascinating just to go look because you can look in every single direction and see something yeah. new every time you go you're gonna see something new well when you're near Salvation Mountain you have to keep going on that road mm -hmm. and you will go into a place called Slab City it's a former Marine Corps base which is defunct. However, there's no charge for anyone to live there. They're completely off the grid. There is yep. no electricity, no running water, no sewer system, no trash pickup, nothing. But there completely. is cell phone service, yes. surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> And there's about 150 people that live there, and they're very, very friendly, but mm -hmm. they choose to live that way. Because mm -hmm. there's no charge, people do come and go. Mm -hmm. So it's fascinating just to drive around and see the slabbers yes. and how they live. Some live very elaborately. Others, you know, quite, uh, you know. <laughs> Minimalism. Very minimal, <laughs> very minimalistic. But while you're there, you also want to see, and this is all in one concentrated mm -hmm. area, East Jesus. Yes. Now, this is a, I couldn't find that the last time. If you go down, there's a sign that, okay. that points it out. <laughs> but you have to follow the signs, and East Jesus is a habitable art installation that was founded by yes. a techie who just got tired of the tech industry, moved out there off the grid, started this art installation, which really is, again, this whole area is fascinating, and people it's need to so go. It's so cool. They need to visit. They it's need to see. It's about, like, what, an hour uh, and a half? Hour and a half, Something yes. Something like to that. To Nyland. Just make your way down to Nyland. Put it on your GPS, you're going to find it. But it really, take your camera, wear comfortable clothes. Don't so many up. good Instagram pictures, you guys. Yeah. It is full of Instagram yes. pictures. And just one little fun fact, there's like a water uh, water tank out there. Yep. You'll see it. It's graffitied or painted or whatever right. you want to call it. Someone, a guy actually lives inside of there. <sighs> Which, it's like just so many unique things and stories you hear out there. I don't it's know. a cool place. Don't you got to go. I if we could live out there, but hey, I'll, a lot of people no, do. No, I yeah. couldn't, but I'll go there for the pictures. Check it out, though. It's fascinating. <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad you brought this up. Thanks. That's like one of my favorite places out here. Thank you All so right. much for being You're on here. Thanks. You're the greatest. <laughs> All right, don't go away because up next, your best local sports show with Blake, Arthur, and Cody Krupp is coming up. All of this week's scores and highlights from the final week of the regular high school football season. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader.